yet another glorious sunny day on the Gower in South Wales. It's always like this, it never rains. We're going back down to Foxhole. I'm going to get on Goose and Lucy and I'm going to lead it bottom to top, no problem. It's well within my ability. It's a route I've wanted to do for years. So today's the day where we're going to tick it off because it's going to be a little bit drier than Thursday. Um, I know all the moves, I know where all the holds are. So as long as I'm calm, smooth and accurate. Calm, smooth and what's the other C? Calm, smooth and collected, not collected. Calm, smooth. Control. Look at this today. Where have all these people come from? And you know they're climbing hard boots because they haven't got shirts on. One little problem, I'm not actually feeling very well. Got a little bit of a stomach bug. Um, <laughs> uh, so don't really want to be, <laughs> don't want to be pulling too hard on anything. Really enjoyed that. I'm really pleased. That was good. That's awesome. Positive, done. Kim wanted to guess the break, you did that. I did that. And I wanted to lead the route and I did that. So we'll leave on the positive, go and have some beer. And oh, I'm teaching tomorrow, so I better do some work. One beer. <laughs> no, I should do some reading, some work. This is how we teach now. Another problem, and finding solutions. We've started teaching again. Medical students start early, physician associate students start early, which means we started teaching anatomy. And we've had to find new ways of doing it because we're not allowed to have the students in the lab with us. It's a bit like Twitch streaming. We've got a central laptop running OBS or OBS or open broadcaster software. And from that, you can run a PowerPoint presentation. It is a mess of cables. You can show images, you can use Chrome to run a Kahoot's quiz and that sort of thing. And then we plug in a camera into that. We're using the Canon webcam driver to plug a Canon into that, just using a USB cable. A very cheap HDMI to USB adapter. We can then plug in all sorts of video sources, like the lecturer's own laptop or iPad Pro, or even a phone, which means that they can present using their own tools. We can use computer-generated 3D anatomy apps. You can scribble on your iPad or your Surface using a pencil as a whiteboard. We've got an Elgato Stream Deck Mini. It's only got six buttons, that's all we need. 
you want to show students models or other physical things or even write things on a bit of paper we've got an overhead camera great big ring light and we can pull in all of those video sources anything you can think of and anything we haven't thought of into OBS and then switch between the scenes nice and seamlessly even got a nice standby image which you might, might recognise from Twitch this means that we have a lot of teachers teaching anatomy they can just stand here we'll look after everything repurposing equipment for things that they were never intended to do but it works kind of reliably touch wood they can deliver their session using whatever we've got and the students will hopefully get an interactive experience and a bit more of a physical experience than just a Zoom PowerPoint lecture, right? Anybody could do this. Students are appreciating it. Teachers are seeing the value of it once they've used it because they don't really get it when I try to explain it to them, not too surprisingly. A second computer with a co-host on it in the Zoom meeting sent to a huge projector at the front of the room, meaning that the presenter can see their audience or as much of them as possible and the co-host can help out, answer questions, throw questions from chat out to the presenter and just, you know, let the presenter chill out a little bit and not have to worry about everything. Four years of making videos on YouTube. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's helped develop some skills that turn out to be quite useful when you have to teach remotely. I am constantly wiping things down between speakers. Whoever's not speaking is wearing a mask in here. We only have two or three people in here at a time. So we're trying to be safe, which seems to be pretty important right now because the number of cases in Britain and Europe is increasing again. So there's a risk that I might not be able to come into the lab at all again in the future. We've done two weeks of this and OBS hasn't crashed yet. I'm surprised. There we go. They're starting to appear. This is what I do now. This is my job, just talking to a bloody camera.